here. Ancient petroglyphs. Look, there's a six-toed footprint up there. We go over here to this location. This I can get this thing to go off the charts on some of the petroglyphs. Try the RF. Switch it to the red. Whoa! Up to three! Go up there. See that? See? Seven, ten, fourteen. Maxing out. Go down low. Do you see what I mean? This has been compelling evidence to me for the longest time. This is what has started me to realize that these petroglyphs have some sort of unseen power or energy or resonant frequency that has to do with these sacred locations. It's going off the charts like a beacon. Right? And this is what gets me about this location is you have these carvings and these figures and look how the moss has grown over the top. How old must that mean that these are? And look, you've got like antelope with a zigzag and an arrow and you start to get signals where these carvings are. And here we have the, it's the ladder with the tree. You see this in Samaria with the Anunnaki. It's also, I don't know, Look at that. It looks like a, a ladder, a tree. Oh, it looks like a big jellyfish. Right in the middle of the jellyfish with it. And watch what happens. This is what changed my life here. And what really opened my eyes. weird stuff. Keep walking up through there. See how it pulses though? It'll go doom, 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 like that. And it's like a tunnel from a crystal on the mountain. <laughs> what? Eight, one, five, five. Where was it the highest? Eight, in? eight, one, five, five. Look at that! Keep going up the ridge. Keep going up. Go up to that cliff. Wow, it's on the bottom ridge. Yeah. It's right here. Right at the peak. That... Whoa! Charlie boy, what the hell, man? 7-4. 7-4? 7-4, 7-8? It's like a tunnel coming through here. Look. Yeah. It's like it's fire the signal. So if you slept in there, man, you're gonna have you're gonna astral project and all kinds of craziness, my friend. And down here on ground level, we have this giant boulder that looks like it's fallen down from up above. And it actually has really deep set carvings in it as well. Look at this. What do you make of that? I don't know. It could have been a lot more right here. More could have been broken off. Like people could have come and stolen it. But this is really interesting and it's just downhill. This is obviously carved out of the rock. Just downhill. 
might as well while we're down here on the ground check this one out and see. So we shouldn't have any kind of a reading at all. That is pretty interesting that it is going up. This is on the, wow. That is actually really interesting that right over these symbols, I haven't even ever had a uh, magnetic field anomaly like this. I don't know what to make of that, but look at it. Right over where these petroglyphs are, down on the ground here, it keeps spiking. See that? Look at those big figures up there with the triangular bodies, short little legs. Look at this guy right here. You have all these different depictions of goats. But look how their arms are hanging down. This guy's like upside down. It's really fascinating. Okay, we'll go up to the rock face and see if we get any kind of reading on here on the magnetic, like we got down the hill. Let's see. Now I'm not getting any kind of readings up here on this wall. But boy, you almost need like a ladder to even get close. How do they get up there and carve these? I keep getting weird spikes on the tri-field meter. Like it, I, as I walk along the wall here and go below the petroglyphs, it definitely jumps and peaks and spikes. Let's see if we can get any readings off of this wall here. Nothing so far. I've only been keeping it on the magnetic spectrum. And this one over here, it looks like a map to me. These symbols right here get me. I see these all over the place. They have to do with the legends of the Starnake, uh, which sounds a lot like the uh, Anunnaki, right? It's really interesting. That almost looks like a boat anchor or something, but I don't know, I'm just speculating there. And this is the part that looks like some kind of a map or tunnel system. And now as I get closer to this, I start to get weird spikes in the RF. Wow, see that? And it's not the, we can test the magnetic field here in a second, but the RF seems to jump. Doesn't it look like this is like a person? Look at that. Why is it jumping like that? It's like a signal coming off of the rocks. I've only ever got this in one other spot. And here where we have these ancient symbols that could be 8,000 years old, we have it like it's giving off pings, like it's giving off a signal or reflecting some, or some sort of a receiver right where there seems to be some kind of a map. Look at their arms arms are out like that and they have these little tiny feet and then you have what looks like goats with horns and look how tall this one is there's even some over here and then there's a big split in the rock that goes back up like that so beautiful it's almost like overwhelming when I come up to these spots so Let's get out the tri-field meter and see if we can detect any kind of energy readings. We'll see if we get any kind of energy readings off of this petroglyph wall or out of this crack in the rocks. So far nothing on the magnetic spectrum, even though we did back there on the other wall. Okay, switching over. Nothing here. Good clean baseline there. Whoa. Whoa. Look at that. Okay, uh, that's always interesting, right? Why is it giving off huge radio frequencies? Look at it spiking all the way out. 
What is it about these spots that they pick to carve that gives off radio signals and radio frequencies? Does it have to do with the electromagnetic spectrum of the Earth? And they were tapping into that? That's so weird. Like it pulses occasionally, like it's receiving a signal.